boy. If somebody's a uh, politician, you, uh, you, uh, I just woke up and uh, the minister, Mike Holland, Minister of Natural Resources and Forests, uh, I asked him last night if he, uh, if I could call him on a, uh, talk, if I have a rant. He says, about what? I say, you know better than that. I never tell nobody what I'm going to rant about. So anyway, he says, well, give me a call tomorrow. So I just woke up, having my breakfast, and uh, he says he has a meeting, 9 o'clock, and he tells me, he says, uh, call me now. Now? Anyway, I don't know if this is a good thing for me to do an interview. Oh, to do a to do a rant interview about early in the morning. To take an ADHD mind a long time to wake up. Anyway, the issue I want to talk about. Everybody talks about is the flood in Sussex. All those poor people. Uh, don't know. Eighteen million dollars in damage. And everybody has started again in 2014, another flood. Nobody mentions the clear cutting. Nobody. No media, no nobody. Oh, it's, it's sad. Let's see if this guy, how he's going to react on the flood of that happened in Sussex, if he will acknowledge that clear cutting is a factor. Boy, this should be good. Oh, yeah, what's the title again? Oh, yeah, Minister. Oui, là, bonjour. Uh, bonjour, Minister. Ça va, mon chum? Yes, I'm having breakfast. Well, the lunch. Should have been an hour, hour and a half ago. I mean, the day started now, man. Come on. What time did you wake up? I get up around five. Every what time did you go to sleep? <laughs> well, I mean, it depends. I usually wind up crashing, crashing somewhere around ten, but I get up, up and down several times through the night. Get my best ideas in the middle of the night, man. I know, I know. I do the same thing. I do it. Uh, I do it especially when I have uh, two or three beers. Okay. <laughs> Our ADHD are going off topic. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, did you hear about the flood in, in, in Sussex? Yeah, well, not extremely detailed information, but I did see some stuff, and my executive assistant lives in Sussex, so <laughs> where, where it was hit stuff there, yeah. Yeah, so what do you think happened? Well, I mean, I don't know. I, like, I'm not... I'm not a hydrologist or a biologist or or an environmentalologist. Uh, I know that uh, I was watching areas around Albert County. That's where I was paying attention to some of our, our, our high water marks, and we managed to stay under the dangerous levels. And I think Sussex was the main spot, wasn't it, in the province that got hit? Uh, there was one, yeah, but there was one other one spot near near Saint Martin. They got about two hundred. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. Yeah. But the bottom line here, I told Bruce Nortrup this in 2014. Bruce Nortrup was the MLA then and the minister. Uh, how come no media or MLA are blaming the clear cutting? Well, because if we had a rainstorm like we had, I mean, you just think about that. that it was it was a torrential rain. Okay, so we did have we did have flooding in the Sussex area, but we also had flooding in the Sussex area downtown. Like that actually is not near a river system, uh, and and if it was purely a clear cutting issue, now I'm not saying that that doesn't become a factor. But seriously, Charles, after that storm we just had, if it was purely and exclusively a clear cutting issue, well then, according to the reports of clear cuts throughout the province, it, it would have been widespread throughout the province that we would have had that level of flooding. So I mean. Let's 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 look at it. You can't you can't take a flood and identify one particular issue as the exclusive reason. That much I do know. And and if it was clear cutting, then then we'd have had that reports like that coming in all over the province, man. But that area, from what I've been told, 
it's the perfect storm and the clear cutting is really, really bad. Well, like you said, perfect storm. A number of different factors come together to create a problem. It's not the result of any one particular issue. Is that, that, means, that means that there's a bunch of stuff there that potentially needs to be looked at in, in flood prone areas. Is there any chance you're the only minister that I know or known that loves map, maps? Huh? Yeah. Uh, any chance to get those those uh, temporary uh, those bureaucrats? <laughs> I'm and, the temporary help. Remember. No, no, you're the temporary help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're they're the full time. Yeah, that's right. Could you ask the full time help that you want? A radius, a, ra a radius of seventy-five miles. Yeah, yeah. The the stream or the river that goes through Sussex, and you want to see how much clear cutting in that seventy-five or a hundred mile zone. Can you do that? I, I can do that for any river system throughout the whole province. No, sure. we're not talking. Don't uh, don't get d distracted. Uh, can we do that blown up in that area so we can see in our own eyes and maybe you as minister can suggest or order the Irvings to build about to plant about a million trees well here now uh, yes so short answer is yes to the to the get me the maps and all of that but I just I just launched the website there last week I think it was last week um, my new grandson's just totally got my yes all off on everything. I've... Congratulations! Oh man, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, how many picture? How many pictures so far? Five thousand? Uh, thousands. Yeah, absolutely, man. Just uh, like just like me taking pictures of DOG. I did a I did a podcast last night, uh, and and I actually brought him on the podcast with me. Oh my like, god! That poor little bugger's gonna get drugged around everywhere. Oh my god! Um, Amazing. Okay, focus, Mike. Fo focus, Minister. Focus. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> I just announced the, uh, the the website where we can nominate areas to protect, and 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 I think I've talked to you about the fact that we're right in the middle. Like we're identifying fifty thousand hectares every month to put into conservation until we get up to like four hundred thousand hectares, right? So that's a massive amount of conservation area, and one of the key key places that we wanted to concentrate on was our waterways. Um, and and one of the ways we can do it is to take and expand our buffer zones along those waterways, right? Um, right now they're 30 meters. Maybe that's good. Maybe it's not. But it's just 30 meters for the sake of 30 meters. And what I've said is we got to look at every one of these waterways and say, what do we need for a buffer zone there? You know, maybe 30 works, but maybe it needs to be 300 or 500 meters, whatever it needs to be for the health of that particular river system, we need to make sure that we adjust the buffer zones accordingly. So there's a there's a lot of work going into that. So the maps that we have right now um, are reflective of what we have right now. This, uh, over the next couple of months, we're gonna have a map reflective of what those will be going forward. And, and yes, you know, when we put enhanced buffer zones into areas where there are sensitive waterways, and, and not just not just in that area. I'm thinking there's cold water pools in the Miramichi Rivers area we need to protect. Uh, the Rusticus River, the Napisicut River. Uh, there's some really good habitat opportunities for us in the St. John River system too. So that's gonna that's gonna be huge uh, when we when we implement the uh, the very buffer zones and make them fit. The environmental protection. It sure sounds good. It's just like the outside of uh, St. Martin there. I don't know where or what exactly. Somebody, did you see that video? Somebody took from an airplane? Uh, Some, and, and show all... Videos from airplanes. And yeah. show all, all the clear cutting. <laughs> well, yeah, but now, see, and this is where I want to bring things back to the, the reality here. Like, my, whenever I see stuff, I say, okay, now, now talk to me here for a second. Where was that area? How much of that was crown land? How much of that was industrial land? How much of that was private land? Because as you know, the only areas I have control over is, 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 is crown land. And, and nor should I have the right to tell you what to do with your land or private land. And, 
and crown land isn't the only area where forestry practices are, are implemented. So, you know, one of the things I've done for the last couple of years is a lot of education, and people would say, you've cut all the crown land. Well, no. No, we haven't. 20%? Uh, 13.8 mm. of crown land is cut, clear-cut plantation spray. Uh, to give you to give you the numbers on that, there's three million hectares of crown land, and four hundred thousand of it uh, is is uh, in the plantation. So, so that that means like eighty five percent of crown land is not clear cut in a plantation. So, let's identify the areas, and if there are areas where it's private land or if it's um, industrial freehold, it doesn't mean that 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 we don't recognize that but i'm responsible for crown that three million hectares of crown land and 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 if i start telling private landowners what to do with their land well what do you think is going to happen then uh it could be a war because there's uh, it's a war with with the urbings also there's a lot of private uh landowners that's really clear-cutting right beside the roads now it's disgusting listen how many yes. how many acres there is industrial land uh, 20% of New Brunswick's total area is industrial freehold land. Wow. Which means, that, that would mean like companies like Irving or Irving or uh, Canadian Timber, Twin Rivers, uh, like the forestry companies. Uh, that would, 20% uh, of New Brunswick is... Uh, How did they get a hold of all that land? Well, I don't know. I mean, that all happened long before I ever showed up, but there were a variety of different purchases or horse trades or whatever. I mean, companies come and companies go, and part of it is, you know, land trades and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's like private private business purchasing and acquiring land, so. Well, but the only problem is it affects the beauty of New Brunswick, of New Brunswick. Well, and that's why if we've got if we've got 400,000 hectares that are in plantation, the plan that I'm rolling out to put 400,000 hectares into conservation hopefully provides a little balance to that equation, you know what I mean? I know, but the, the Irving lobbyists might put a stop to that. Okay, let's focus. Uh, <laughs> so the bottom line here, uh, uh, don't you love these uh, these uh, no uh, no telling you what these issues going to be when we, we when we call you. You know, I've always said I I, uh, I go live and I don't need any uh, I don't need anybody standing feeding me lines. I'm good to go. Yeah, no be no no full time help uh, no full full time help around you to tell you. Uh, I, I I probably give the communication staff a little bit of heart failure every time I do an interview because I take their notes and I set them aside and I just say what I want to say anyway. That's, I know uh, that's why uh, I I enjoy this so much. Okay, so. From this, uh, my God, thirteen minutes. Uh, uh, there must be about five. five and there must be two two viewers left, and they don't they don't have a life. Okay. Uh, the bottom line is, you will get me a map of a hundred yeah, miles ra radius of the river of of Sussex. Are you mean like the Canada Cases River system? Is that what you're? Looking? I don't want that. No, I want it better than that. Minister, uh, just uh, hire a uh, rent a, a, a goddamn plane and let's fly over Sussex and see how much clear cutting there is beside that river. You know, I'm too financially responsible to go rent an airplane, Charles. Ah, tell Mr. Irving you'll give him uh, five acres of land, of, of more of prime <laughs> land free, and then he'll give you an airplane. He'll even give you a a uh, uh, a pilot. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I I uh, I don't mind flying, but I prefer to keep my feet on the ground as much as I possibly can. So ah, you chicken, uh, you chicken shit. Anyway. But yeah, that's the people. People quite often refer to me as a soft-spoken chicken of a guy. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. <laughs> okay, so the bottom line: you will tell your full-time help that you want a radius of a hundred mile of Sussex, not the whole goddamn province. Sussex, an updated one. I don't know how you can manage that. No, no, I can get them. Like, see what we do now. The technology's changed. We use. Uh, a uh, technology called LIDAR. LIDAR. It's kind of like a radar, 
Uh, but the pictures that that gets us of, of areas is right down to the to the to the tree and the stick. Is it Google? No, is it no, Google? Very, is it very good? Is it Google Earth? No, 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 no. It's actually it's more refined than that. Even um, it's it's pretty amazing stuff. And, and well, you know the maps I showed you up in my office. Yeah. That that's that's using that technology. That's how uh, refined it is. So so I can look at a spot and say. This is flatland, grassland, wetland, uh, mixed forest, uh, softwood. This is our plantation. Like I, I can, I can, yeah, I can get pretty specific. So good. The hundred, I'll do the hundred miles uh, of the surrounding. How long? How long is that going to take? I don't know. What day is it now? Thursday. Yes. Probably be Monday. Probably be able to get it for you by Monday. Oh wow! I'm just and, a fit. And I can do like I can, I can, I got your email. I can email it to you if you want. Yeah. Then, then you can tear it apart and come up with a bunch of questions. Yes. And we could uh, talk more. Or you could do a printout, and this time, that if you have time from your grandson, um, you could. That's not funny. Uh, you <laughs> I could, bring it with me. <laughs> you. This time you come to Fredericton, you can pick me up, me and DOG and you. We could, we could scare the shit out of those bureaucrats again. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll bring it up again. Oh, yeah. Security to everything. <laughs> and right. then. We'll go in your office, we'll put that map right on your desk. Yeah, let's do it. And we'll have a look. And I've got three or four, like COVID's messing everything up because I got three oh, or yeah, four that, that's areas right. yeah. where I want to take you for a drive and show you yeah. some stuff that I've noticed out there. And some, yeah. some stuff that I want to see improved, but also some stuff that's you know, actually kind of going okay. And I mean, overall, I, and I've never said that what I'm doing is perfect. But I am pretty proud of the fact that what we're doing is, is, you know, it's moving things in the right direction, you know, and, and, and we're talking about this stuff and we're educating people and we're, you know, just trying to do the right thing. I don't kiss ass. You're, uh, you're one of the best uh, minister of natural resources I see. And you had Craig Leonard, show gas. You had Bruce Notrup, didn't say much. And then you had Denis Landry that was just sing like a Twitty bird. And, uh, it's uh, nope. You're doing good. Okay, that's your kissing ass for the day. <laughs> We're all done. Okay, I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Yeah, take it easy, man. Talk thank, to you later. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. How can you uh, hate a guy like that, especially early in the morning? Mm. Eight twenty-five. Okay. Gotta watch and listen to the news. So we're gonna find out Monday. I still say that the clear cutting is major, major factor of what happened in Sussex. And uh, let's see. Uh, he, I know he will come through, and we'll find out next week. We'll look at that map. We'll see the update, updated version of clear cutting around the Sussex area, and maybe the the media will ask questions. Stay tuned.